Hi friends, I'm Oksana, welcome back. Have you ever felt like you could not function in the morning until you got your first cup of coffee? I have definitely done it so many more times than I can count. I have started drinking coffee in 2010 and I can proudly say that this year I finally quit. In this video I will share the side effects I was experiencing, talk about why I quit and how I did it. Let's talk about the side effects first. First of all, let me tell you this. It took about nine years for some of these side effects to even materialize and become noticeable. These include feeling tired, stumbling upon my own words, having trouble recalling the words, and having heart palpitations. A few years ago, I noticed that whenever I would start drinking coffee, I would actually feel more tired than I did before drinking coffee. And at first, I didn't pay too much attention to it. I thought it was just maybe one day, maybe it's not a strong cup. But over time, I noticed this was becoming a real pattern. Earlier this year, I shared that fact with my doctor, and he said that two things could be contributing to what I was experiencing about being tired. One, that coffee really simulated adrenaline production, so stress-induced hormones, which after they faded, it actually made me feel more tired. And the second one, that coffee blocked the adenosine receptors, both of which lead to the same problem. After the effects of coffee wear off, you feel tired and sleepy. Stumbling upon my own words was a, one of those annoying side effects that I actually didn't link to drinking coffee until I reduced the consumption first and then gave up coffee completely. This is uh, an effect of my thoughts are already moving at the warp speed. And this is really the inability to breathe while the adrenaline is rushing through my blood and take a pause between words. So my thoughts are already moving super fast and my mouth is essentially is moving at the same slow speed. So I jumble a lot of stuff in work meetings, in my normal day-to-day -day interactions. And it was just embarrassing to experience that because it was, I just couldn't place it. I mean, I'm for, fully capable of forming a sentence, but I was unable after I drank coffee. Tip of the ton effect is when you have an idea of a word, but you cannot really recall it. So I noticed the more I drank coffee, the more it started to happen to me. And then finally, the last and probably the most dramatic effect of drinking coffee for a prolonged period of time was heart palpitations. It really feels like your heart jumps for a second and then it goes back to normal or it feels like you maybe lose your breath for a second, which both of which are very unpleasant, and it made me worried really about my health. So that was the last drop, and I said, after I have all this entirety of side effects that I'm experiencing, I'm going to just go ahead and quit. And by the way, I did not want to quit coffee because coffee has this calming and comforting effect, it really delivers that warmth, and pleasure on a cold day. So because I didn't want to do it, I actually wanted to put some science behind my decision. So I journaled for four weeks straight and every time I drank coffee, I would record the effects that I was experiencing after drinking coffee. My diet stayed consistent throughout the experiment of four weeks and it turned out that there could be nothing else that would contrib contributed to me feeling the way I was feeling except for that continuous overconsumption of caffeine. So finally, after this four week long experiment, I had the facts in front of me. So I needed to make a decision and I needed to make sure that I actually took some action based on what I was seeing in my journal. How did I quit? I just stopped. This continual progression of reducing the consumption of coffee for me was becoming a negotiation. And because it was a negotiation, there could be winners and losers. So since I was having that with myself, I said, I will make a decision once and for all, and I will stick to it. I would probably not recommend doing it to everyone, but for me, that's what worked. So the first three days were super difficult and they were very sticky. I felt like a puppy. I was falling asleep. I was feeling tired throughout the workday and I could really could not keep my eyes open. 
What it made me realize is how tired I really was and how sleep deprived I was in my day-to-day -day life. The sleep was like molasses. I was just getting stuck in it and it was really hard to wake up and get going with the day. Day four, things started to improve. However, by the end of day four, things became a lot worse. So I made myself a cup of coffee and I didn't even finish it. I took a few sips and that was it. And I know it might seem like a step back, but since I was doing it for myself and no one else, for me, I needed to help myself get through that. I was already going through withdrawal for the first four days, and that was a needed step that helped me really quit. After that, I didn't need coffee anymore, and things went smoothly. Now I can honestly say, after having been off coffee for a few months, and not having this regular routine in the morning or in the middle of the day, my relationship with coffee completely changed and transformed. I don't feel like I need it unless I want it. So occasionally throughout these few months, I would allow myself a cup of coffee here and there, but it's nothing like a need. I don't feel addicted to it. I never feel like I need to drink it. And instead of coffee, most time I get chai which is tea-based caffeine, which has a different release mechanism. This decision to quit caffeine as a normal, continuous, consistent practice has been one of the best decisions I've made in recent months. And I cannot overstate the health benefits and effects that I'm seeing in myself. For example, not being stressed out, I feel calmer and I just feel like I can enjoy my life and definitely feel rested and full of energy when I go to tackle my day. Are you contemplating quitting coffee? What's the main reason behind your decision? Share in comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.